This is not justice. That's the reaction in court from the mother of a Wilmer Hutchins basketball standout who was beaten to death. Troy Causey died after a fight with his friend and his roommate, Jonathan Turner. That case initially filed as a murder, but today Turner received seven years probation on a manslaughter charge. If he stays out of trouble, he will have a clean record. Fox 4 Sean Rabb was in court for today's hearing. Mr. So we're going to play a guilty on behalf of this manslaughter indictment. Is that your plea? Yes, sir. Your Jonathan plea Turner entered a guilty right? plea to manslaughter in the death of Troy Causey. Causey, a star basketballer at Wilmer Hutchins, Turner, a player at Madison, both lived in the same home illegally so they could play ball for the Dallas ISD schools. Causey's death exposed illegal recruiting in the district. Many lost jobs. Troy and Jonathan were friends. They were brothers. They played ball together. This wasn't malicious. This wasn't intentional, which is how we got to manslaughter. This was an accident, a horrible, tragic accident that Jonathan feels sorry and terrible about. Turner, now 20, apologized to Causey's family. I apologize for the loss, and we was like brothers, and I never meant for it to go down like that. And I'm sorry for the loss, and I never meant for it to go down like that. You know, that's something you should have said when I was at Troy's bedside. Okay, let's go ahead and now. Uh, that was, sir, you can be quiet. Bro. You should have said that thing. Okay, sir, you want to get out of the courtroom? The outburst from Raphael Simpson, Causey's quiet, stepfather, underscoring the intense emotion from Causey's family. Dallas police initially charged Turner with murder after the fight that killed Causey, but the charge reduced to manslaughter, the state offered a plea deal. We went back to each of the witnesses to see whether or not we could be successful at trial. And unfortunately, the witnesses just were not willing to come forward and disclose to a jury the information that they were willing to disclose to the family and originally to police. You heard us, baby. You, I can't begin to tell you the pain. Causey's family made victim impact statements. We put in a whole lot of work to help him become successful, and you took his life like that. Turner's lawyer encouraging him as Troy's mother took the stand. Troy is who made me me. Tammy Simpson telling Turner how he's torn not just their family, but their lives apart. I'm not going to pray for you. And I do wish this pain on you. I just do. That's the truth. Because it is not fair. And I'm not going to conceal my hurt and my anger. Turner's attorney says they are considering where he will now go to college and continue his education, perhaps his b-ball career as well. But his legal troubles are not over. Troy Causey's family's filed a civil lawsuit against the district and Dallas County Juvenile, contending Causey was recruited while in the juvenile system. That's a rules violation. And Turner will likely have to testify at those civil proceedings. Sean, Turner was originally charged, as you said, with murder. That reduced to manslaughter. Why did that happen? Well, the medical examiner ruled homicide uh, based on the autopsy. The problem, as you heard the prosecutor, Jason Hermu say, is that some of the witnesses, what they told the family, what they originally told Dallas police officers, they were now being uncooperative with the police. Remember, the witnesses also lived in that house, and they were all part of this web of basketball, high school basketball across the Dallas Independent School District. So for whatever reasons, they were being uncooperative with prosecutors. In fact, Jason Hermes told me, had we gone to trial, I don't know where my witnesses would have been in terms of their testimony, and I don't know that we would have been able to get a conviction, perhaps even an acquittal. This way, at least he's on probation seven years, he tells me, and if he messes up, they still have the ability to send him to prison for 20 years. But if he stays clean for seven, there'll be no record of this crime. Sean Rabb in our Dallas newsroom. Thank you, Sean. Okay.